Okay. And the guard right on. And this guy really demonstrates that it's really fall. Now. It is the golden one. But at least, at least today is only in a, it's only 50, only 50 degrees out, so we don't have all the whops. Then there is a, it looks like, I think that's a bee. No, not completely. You know, free of bees and wops, but bees, wops, and yellow jackets, but. But this is really the thing. Leaves, especially the elm trees, the other trees too, they're really starting to change the color in the fall now. In fact, this is a usual ray. And put them in a pile here. Yeah. Have them there. I have to do that this afternoon too. You see, I find I think that's the I think it's the the blue, blue camellia. That's that bloom. I think around July. It's the end of September. It's the last part of your September. Next, it'll be Saturday. First run video of October. But yeah, good look. And I'm almost going to fall a couple days too because it's supposed to get a lot of wind and rain later today and tomorrow and even more this. And I think even more this weekend and it's not supposed to get warmer in the 50s any of those days. But then after that, the sun, sunshine and the temperatures in the 70s are supposed to return. There's still a couple of... Remember it's like all sort of that, but for the mo they're mostly done, but there's a few left. White clematis, they're past the peak, but there's still a few. Still a red cher still those cherries. Which is there. Okay, the Rose and Sharon, okay, they are done, okay. The other thing that's worth, worth showing is, is, is Got the tarp back in the air conditioner. Might put like a different tarp and kind of clean it out a little bit. But did put a tarp back in the air conditioner, just like the neighbor has tarp on her pool. There's the there's the going rod and again a wops. Only. Huh. Oh, I must have some attractive neck there. I mean, it seems like bees, wops, and yellow jackets are always on them. They must have good nectar for those type of insects. Whatever. Bushes. Pear tree. That's starting to change color in fall, too. Autumn Joyce. Again, it's almost October. Man, that's, and those flowers are still blooming, interestingly enough. Yeah, this just pretty much demonstrates fall real good right here. Mm -hmm. um, joys. Well, I got like two different colors, them the pink ones and the red ones. We may well try to cut this later. I have to do most of it. doesn't rain too much later that they might do it. Pretty much big. I have to try to do it on a cool estate because of how bad the wops are. I need to wear, be able to do the work in a day cool enough to do wear the protective clothing so they're not, so not get stung by them. Oh, those purple morning glories are. Come in. Quick look at the neighbor's flowers. Let me throw that too. Here's the, well, this is kind of pretty. The, uh, this and, and the golden rod. And there's no wops on. There's no wops pollinating that one. I 
the blackberry bush the tr leaves on the blackberry bushes during the early midfall are kind of always kind of pretty. I'm kind of pretty always. I think I used to have a, a rose bush that has like next week will that died, but then we're playing flowers and it would bloom all the way until November. And it's kind of like sets the tone for because in some years. <laughs> Going around underneath the car, but it looks like it's a bee pollinating. Maybe we'll, we might try to do it. Well, it's supposed to rain later today, I don't know. See if it's tomorrow, maybe Friday, maybe. Is it painting? Well. It's colder, so maybe to wop some, maybe at their nests a little bit more. Now, now there's one more. There's one more flower I could show. There's a couple. More like it's here. I don't know, I'm finding them mostly down, something they didn't pull yet. And daisies. I didn't know we still any of them. Those are overgrown. They may have to work out here a little bit. Too. They don't come here as much. But yeah. One thing is definitely for sure. It's definitely fall now. Not to show. Yeah, seven minute video. Ugh. 